In today's heated political landscape, honesty, authenticity, and accountability aren't just buzzwords. They're the foundation of our trust in leadership. J.D. Vance's message resonates deeply with those who value these principles and are increasingly worried about the ethical conduct of their leaders. The urgent call for truth and integrity in public life isn't just about addressing the immediate controversies surrounding Tim Walls. It's about confronting the growing fears of eroding morale standards in those who hold power. Well, of course, Dana, I honor his service. And I've never criticized what Tim Waltz did when he was in the military. I criticized his retirement decision. And most importantly, Dana, I, I criticized his lying about his own record. OK, this is a guy who was captured on video saying I carried a gun in war. He never went to war. This is a guy who's been captured on video. As other people say, he's an Afghanistan veteran. He's a veteran of a war nodding along in agreement instead of saying, no, 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 I did serve my country and I did it honorably, but I never went to a war zone. I'm not criticizing Tim Waltz's service. I'm criticizing the fact that he lied about his service for political gain, Dana. Now, I served in the United States Marine Corps, and you know this. And look, there are a lot of things that I'm proud about. I've never lied about what I did or overstated it because it would be beneficial to me in an election. I think that's what Tim Waltz did. That's what I was criticizing. And yes, I do think it's scandalous behavior. The significance of honesty and integrity among our leaders cannot be overstated. Allegations that J.D. Vance misrepresented Tim Walz's military service for political gain strike at the very heart of what many hold dear. For conservatives, integrity, honor, and responsibility are not just values. They are non-negotiable pillars of leadership. The outcry over Tim Walz's alleged stolen valor reveals a public unwilling to tolerate any breach of trust. This isn't just about one candidate. It's a serious indictment that also casts a shadow on Kamala Harris, her supporters, and the Democratic Party as a whole. 